Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So Ethiopian food is my jam. Like I didn't really get into that until I, I moved actually until I moved into Baltimore. And I had been up here for almost uh oh, I want to say almost 10 years before I tried it. And what was crazy about it is one, they had cabbage and greens on 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 the injera. And I was like, and when I tasted that, I'm like, this tastes like my mama greens and her cabbage. Like, are you serious right now? And they have this spicy beef stew. It's called kiwat. That is, I, that is my heart. But what's crazy is my mom makes something like that. And my mom is famous for going in the kitchen and just throwing stuff together. Like, she's always been like that. And she come up with these recipes that are just things that, you know, they, oh, I just felt like I wanted to make this and I wanted to blend this together and everything like that. So when I had that key white and I thought about how my mom does like her beef tips and stuff like that, I'm like, Ma, what are you, you channel through food. This is insane. Like all, like she makes her, my, my uncle Goop, uh, who passed, he called my mom's soup, um, brandy wine gumbo. And I had never really had gumbo, you know, growing up, we didn't have that. But she would make it, and it's similar to like New Orleans gumbo. Had little tweaks here and there, but it's similar. 